Here's a poolside view of Shangri-La. This is where I live. I think this is the premier property in the marina. Uh, it's got a really, really nice pool. Three uh, big circular pools joined together. Nice community. It's well laid out, well maintained. There were kids rollerblading around this deck last night when I came down to go to the gym. And they play hide and seek in the gardens. Not many people here um, you know, off season. There's, I counted 21 lights in the towers last night. A lot of absentee owners. You can rent one of these for you know, $1,500, $2,000 $2, a week, high season. Shangri-La doesn't have the nicest beach. It's rocky, fairly narrow. But when they set up uh, soccer po goal posts, uh, kids go out and play volleyball and soccer. And there's uh, the obligatory little palapas where you can have a drink. They put the... There's the Palapa restaurant. They serve beverages and food poolside. Swim up bar. Next to the Palapa is the gym. They put the gym right on the beach. You can get on the elliptical trainer and look at the waves. Like the rest of Puerto Vallarta. Here we are at the southernmost point of the marina. This is where the marina entrance is. The building here is called Tres Mares, Three Seas. Interesting story, the developers who built Shangri-La built this. And then rumor has it that one of the brothers built a very nice home for himself just on the other side of that building. It's big and you, you can see it from the other side. How that impacts future development here, I do not know. There should be another tower going in, maybe when the market gets better. Looking across the mouth of the harbor, that first set of buildings is uh, Icon, and the second set of buildings behind it, Peninsula. That's a nice development, uh, newer. They're still building some hotel units and condos there, I believe. That's comparable to Shangri-La. Just up the beach is the Western Regina Hotel and Timeshare Resort. This is, this is one of my nice, the nicer hotels. I like it here. I've stayed here lots of times. It's built on an old coconut palm plantation. And it's fun. They have uh, little coconut palm islands in the middle of their pool that they left just to preserve the palm trees. Coming back up to Shangri-La, we'll pause to take a look at the local fauna. guy doesn't like me. Get out of here. There's Shangri-La. Three bedroom unit, uh, $500,000 to $600,000. Penthouses and ground floor units over a million. Those are asking prices. Here's a plane leaving the airport. Bye-bye. Further up the beach is Portofino. Um, private condominiums. I almost bought here. This is a nice development. Uh, it's the security's good. The maintenance is great. Uh, the grounds are nice. I think I saw a two-bedroom listed for sale in here for four hundred and fifty thousand. I forget six hundred thousand. Whatever it was, it seemed a little optimistic. But things are coming back. You can stay here for fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a week in high season. I think that's a better option. Portofino, this is where we are, looking back down the beach. Yeah, there's Shangri-La, peninsula off in the distance. We're still going north. This is Velas Vallarta Hotel and Timeshare Resort. I used to own a timeshare here. I, uh, when the maintenance fees crested $1,100 for a week, I realized I could rent a nice room at the, uh, the Marriott or the Westin for the same price. So I bought my timeshare contract back from the developer. 
they might not want me to tell you you can do that, but you can. I got them off my back. Anyway, nice resort. This Palapa restaurant is good. Okay, now we're at the northern end of the beach. Up there the, uh, is the river uh, Rio Ameca, I believe, that separates us from Nuevo Vallarta. This is the, the last uh, condo development on the beach. It's Bayview Grand. Nice development, a lot of units. This is the, these are the most affordable condos on the beachfront that we've looked at. Manicuring the beach, that's nice. These guys have the sandiest beach. If I'm gonna go body surfing or play in the water, I like to go here because there's fewer rocks. And that concludes the beachfront tour. Now we'll go into the marina. Baby Grand. Okay, we're about 100 meters inland uh, in the marina. That's uh, the Faro, the lighthouse, the uh, local uh, landmark. A lot of nice boats inside the marina. These are all private, private yachts. The quick orientation, these white buildings are Las Palmas 1 and 2 commercial space below and condominiums above. Um, like the rest of the developments inside the marina, they have tennis courts and a pool. They're nice. This is where I came in right here. If you just walk 100 meters toward the water, you're back at Shangri-La. This is Puesta del Sol. All those tan or adobe colored buildings are Puesta. Uh, those are nice units. They have balconies facing the water, or on the other side, balconies facing the streets. Two and three bedroom units. Um, you can rent those for about uh, $1,600, dollars a month. We're in front of Chappie's restaurant and uh, sports bar. That's the local watering hole. Look at that. That's beautiful. You know what I would do if I owned that boat? I'd sell it and buy a condo. Next to the lighthouse is the Royal Yacht Club. Uh, private condominiums. These are nice. These will sell over 300,000. Puerto Vallarta never really recovered from 2008 and uh, they're just now starting to see listings sell within weeks or months instead of being on the market for over a year. These are, um, well, not the Marina Suites, Marina Sol. Nice views of the harbor. Behind Marina Sol, you can see sticking up back there <clears throat> is Nima Bay condominiums. And then uh, again, that's uh, Marina Del Rey condos over there. And back behind them is uh, some shops and restaurants. The marina is where you find lots of fishing charters. Boats like these will rent for $500 to $700, depending on whether you want a six, eight, or 10 hour day. I went out uh, for 10 hours the other day and caught four sailfish with a friend of mine. Well, this is my stop, coffee cup for my morning cappuccino. I hope you enjoyed my short video tour of the marina. There we go, coffee cup. Massage and pedicure place next door. So this is Rob. I'll be doing some more videos on the marina. This is where I live, this is my, where I specialize. And uh, so I hope you like my video, check back. We'll see you on the beach.